Good afternoon and this is Guinea and I am here with your reading for April 2020. I am sure after what has been happening in the last two months, especially in March, with the lockdown and self-isolation and quarantines and everything, everyone is dying to know what April is bringing for us. Well, it's bringing a lot more need for patience, discipline, caring, love, compassion, organization, hard work, not only hard work towards your work, but hard work in investing in your relationships. Because everybody is going through the same hell. Everybody has some, some kind to some level frustration and desperation and fears and insecurities inside them about where this is going to lead. I mean, it's affecting health, it's affecting economy, it's affecting relationships. Everything is going for a toss but we can save it we can save it by investing a little bit of love and compassion patience from our end reaching out to people so uh, you know when you go through a difficult time eventually and when you're thrown together by default without a choice and you can't really do anything about it that is when people start putting in a little bit of effort and if you haven't already I would suggest that you start doing that in relationships um, any relationships be it husband and wife parent and child everybody needs a little bit of space so give them that space so that if you can if you can meditate together if you can exercise together if you can cook together clean together it would only help to make a stronger bond and that is what you need to do this month you really need to invest in your relationships you may not want to i mean people may think like okay i am here generally i am at the office but i am here today what more do you want but just being there doesn't help what helps is working together bonding together spending that time and thinking about the other person uh, equally when you're thinking about yourself so if you need the space that person needs the space if you need that little bit of extra love and compassion the other person needs it too so invest in that also I would say avoid wearing black and blue color this month try and wear green and white uh, there may be a lot of people who may go through a lot of dreams and um, um, all kinds of dreams, maybe visits from the uh, spiritual world, you know, people who've passed on coming into your dreams. Um, also, there is a need for spiritual bend of mind to use spirituality. Spirituality is nothing but humanity. Spirituality is nothing but divinity. It's nothing but uh, treating everybody else as you would like to be treated or treat yourself that is spirituality that's what I believe that is uh, religion that's what every religion teaches so this month is going to focus a lot on that that is what you need to do the oracle card that I took out for relationships said love oracles you know I use it as guidance this says that the more you give the more you get so if you want please learn to give also the other thing is when I did tarot for relationships there are many people who may have been wanting to get married in the last few months and they have not been able to well they may not be able to have that gathering that celebration even for the next many months we are all mentally prepared for that they may want to go in for a small ceremony or registration of their marriage or um, you know get married so if they get the opportunity to so that is what is going to happen people are going to want to do that and also there are people who may want to go in for a divorce they may not want to work harder on this relationship uh, that is once the locked in period is over the self isolation is over but yes people are facing frustration uh, you know I had done cards just before this and I realized uh, 
I generally do cards two three times before I make a video and uh, there are a few cards he who which kept coming again and again that's why uh, it says revenge and although that is for health I will come to that when I do the <clears throat> video for health but basically there are a lot of people who may end up getting into extramarital affairs I know you're going to think how is that going to happen well first of all people who've been having extramarital affairs that is going to be disclosed that is going to come out into the open and that is another reason for which people may um, go in for the divorces also because people are feeling so isolated and depressed and frustrated a lot of people are going onto the social media and net uh, forums or like facebook and instagram and dating apps and stuff um you may meet someone being a karmic month you may meet someone but understand that when i say karmic it means that they're coming from um some place of debt they're coming from some place where uh, there is some debt that needs to be cleared and they're coming into your life to clear that debt so that this relationship if you do form one even if it is an emotional and mental and virtual relationship may not really be uh, something that in the long run is going to bring you peace and joy something that's going to it may be maybe for for um, say 2% of people who whose personal numbers differ because what I do is universal numbers here if it's your personal numbers you need to take a personal reading so I can actually tell you specifically how that's going to work for you so there are going to be people who may get into virtual relationships with the hope that tomorrow when this self-isolation phase is over they may be able to be meeting each other and actually going ahead with the relationship some people if they are just probably a block away or something they may actually even go and meet so that is um, if, if it's an extramarital affair it's not going to work out it's going to lead to uh, divorces it's going to lead to difficulties it's going to lead to a lot of pain just you know remember that when two people get married it's not just two people who get married it's two families who get married and the third family that you bring into this world your children they are also affected so please refrain from doing that refrain from divorces refrain from fighting because it affects the kids and the parents and if you think that you know you are thinking of that sit down talk it out and once this self-isolation and lockdown which may actually not be over in the month of april i doubt except for maybe uh, certain countries in the world but not here in india at least i don't see it happening in uk and maybe not even the usa but once this is over a lot of people who may be contemplating that oh once this is over i'm going to get rid of you I'm going to divorce you I'm going to move on don't do that have patience have compassion persevere in trying to work out this relationship give it a last try I would say give it a last try because this is not the right time it may bounce back so uh, of course everything as I said again that depends on your personal numbers but um, give it another shot give yourself another shot because all that anger and frustration that you're feeling within and projecting is not actually towards that person it's towards yourself somewhere it's towards yourself you're probably not being able to understand yourself what you need to do is meditate on it sit across the table talk it out like sane mature people make a list uh, of likes dislikes wants don't wants and prioritize prioritize what it is that is more important to you probably those small tiny things that happen on a daily basis but that can be avoided or it's is it that uh, you know that that thing that you fell in love for or got married because of which you got married in the first place which is a big thing something like honesty something like faith something like love something like um, you know financial stability or being a good parent whatever that is so I would say uh, try and work it out 
and do not rush into anything negative this was relationships for you if you need a personal reading you know where to get in touch with me you can uh, fix an appointment online appointment uh, on my website which is guineaneja.com g-i-n-n-i-a-n-e-j-a.com and if you wish you can whatsapp me on uh, plus nine one eight one zero double eight seven two one three one if that's if you need an appointment for a personal reading um, meanwhile you take care of yourself and of everyone else reach out to people reach out to everyone you feel may be going through depression or anxiety um, I guess it's most of us but everyone that you can help because we would not want anyone to go through a suicide attempt because of this frustration or kill themselves because they feel that oh now that I've tested positive for corona there's no hope for me no there is hope everyone can get better corona is not something that will only definitely kill you um, that's about it for relationships uh, you take care and see you soon bye